Today we're gonna fix the behavior of our camera once and for all. We're gonna make it smoothly follow the player and turn with him just like in the real game. So let's do that. Go to the scripts folder and create a new C sharp script and let's call it camlogic and attach it to the main camera game object. Open up the script in Visual Studio. And before we write any code, we need to think about the logic that's going to drive the behavior of our camera in a simplified 2D diagram, just like we did with the player's logic. So, I've created this diagram that's going to step through how the camera should behave in the game with respect to the player. The first thing we want is for our camera to be constantly behind the player as shown in the diagram with some fixed distance, say 5 units. This means that the position of the camera at any given time has to be the position of the player minus that fixed distance. So as the player's position changes, so does the camera's. And the camera's orientation or rotation is simply the rotation of the player. If the player is facing north, then so is the camera. If he turns west, then so does the camera, and so on. Now let's program this bit and give it a try. The first thing we need to do is grab a reference to our player's transform component here in our script so that we could access his position in the scene. So type public transform capital T player transform. This public keyword means that this transform variable can be accessed from outside the script. Public and private variables are a key concept in object oriented programming and they are used for data hiding and protection. By default, all declared variables in C sharp are private unless otherwise stated. Now let's go back to the editor and click on the main camera game object. You can immediately see that there is a player transform empty field in the inspector window. Drag the player's game object onto it, like so. Now the player's transform component is stored in this player transform variable. Let's go back to our calm logic script in Visual Studio. Let's delete the start function. We don't actually need it in the script. And also create a public float, which we will call fixed distance. And we made it public so that we could initialize it from the inspector window. Now let's go back to the update function and code our camera behavior. And you don't actually need to copy the following piece of code. It's going to actually get deleted because it's going to run into some problems as you'll see. But I'm going to do it because you'll learn some things along the way. First, let's set the rotation of this camera game object equal to the player's rotation. Type this.transform.rotation equals player transform dot rotation. So set the rotation of this game object equal to the rotation of the players, which is stored in the player transform variable. And based on that rotation, we're going to position the camera in the scene to be behind the player, just like we said we would do in the diagram. So let's check the rotation of the camera, which again is equal to the player's rotation. If this dot transform dot all our angles double equal sign, this expression here just accesses the angle around the y-axis. So if this angle is equal to 90 degrees, then the position of this camera is equal to the player's position, minus the fixed distance we've specified. And we're putting it in a vector 3 form because the position of the player is stored in a vector 3, and we can only subtract like quantities in C-sharp. Also, we're operating on the X component of our camera position because the player, and by extension the camera, are in the east direction when this angle is at 90 degrees. Now let's repeat the same process for the west direction in an else if line, only this time we'll add the fixed distance because the west direction has negative values. Finally, as the camera must be north, in which case just subtract the fixed distance from the player's position in the z direction to get the proper camera position which is to be constantly behind the player. Let's save our script and give it a go in the editor. First, let's reset the transform of the main camera. And let's scale up the plane by 5 units in the z direction and 5 units in the x direction. Let's bring the other side of the plane under the player's feet by offsetting its C position by 25 units. Also, let's quickly apply some texture to the plane from our hand painted textures folder so that we could see the textures changing as the camera follows the player. Let's not forget to initialize our fixed distance variable from our inspector window of the main camera game object. I want to make the camera to always be 5 units behind the player. You could choose a different value that suits you if you wish. Save and hit play. Okay, the camera seems to be following the player, and perhaps the height needs some adjustments. Our camera seems to be doing what it was told to do. However, we can clearly tell that the movement of the camera in the scene is a little bit jittery. And also, when the camera changes its rotation, say from 0 to plus 90 degree, it's abrupt and instantaneous. We want it to instead be smooth and gradual. To achieve such a result, we're going to use a mathematical concept in Unity called linear interpolation. Don't let the name scare you. Its implementation in Unity is just a single line and no more. 